Karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mlelo Lectures. Tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, yani biology, kemia, physics pamoja na mathematics kwa syllabus ya Tanzania kwa level za O level pamoja na advance. Usisahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele ili uweze kupewa taarifa kwa kila video ambayo tutakuwa tunarusha. Lakini pia waweze kupata notes pamoja na maswali au kufanya discussion na wanafunzi wenzako kwenye group la Dr. Blelo Students. Bonyeza show more kwenye sehemu ya comment na utaziona linki za magrupu ambazo utafungua na Telegram. Kama unatumia kompyuta utafungua na Telegram desktop au utafungua na Telegram application kwa simu yako. Ukitaka kupata masomo mengine aliyoyafundishwa, bonyeza icon ya kwenye channel alafu itatafuta baada ya nenda kwenye playlist itakuletea topiki utachagua topiki unayotaka kusoma na utaanza kuangalia video bure kabisa nikutakie kipindi chema welcome back friends uh, today we have the session 54 and the continuation of our topic of coordination is uh, we discussed area on the function of um, thyroid gland on the disorders of thyroid gland now today we are going to continue with the adrenal gland now what you are saying that uh, there is a pair of adrenal gland located uh, on just above each kidney hence they are called uh, suprarenal gland suprarenal gland supra means above reno ni kidney so zenyewe ni gland ambazo ziko juu ya kidney na ziko pair maana yake kwenye kidney ya kushoto ni one adrenal gland kidney ya kule ni one adrenal gland each gland is composed of two types of cells from different origin and these cell function independently the outer region is called the cortex and form the 80% of the gland the inner region is called the medulla and is closely closely linked with the nervous system which is normal autonomic nervous system kwa nacho kisema ni kwamba This is very important kwa sababu katika gland zote tulizosoma hakuna gland ile ambayo tume tume divide kwenda kwenye cortex na medala. Kasoro nani? Adrenal peke yake. Kwa it is very important kwa sababu ukiulizwa maswali lazima unajua hormones of adrenal cortex peke yake na hormones of adrenal medala peke yake. So we are starting with the adrenal cortex ambayo ni layer nje. So adrenal cortex is the outer yellowish region of adrenal gland that arises from mesodem mesodem hii ni moja kati ya one among the embryonic layers tuna endodem ectodem pamoja na mesodem mesodem ni ile layer katikati so the adrenal cortex it is derived from mesodem the adrenal cortex is heavily vascularized and rich in cholesterol and vitamin C you see kilicho jao ni cholesterol na vitamin C why because adrenal cortex inatengeneza nani steroids the adrenal cortex is subdivided into following layer the first layer is called zona glomerulosa it is the outer zone that lies just below the capsule the cells of this zone secrete mineral corticoids then you have zona fasciculata zona fasciculata Kulata, in the zone middle zone yo, the cells of this zone secrete glucocorticoids na zona reticularis the inner zone ambayo cells of this zone secrete gonadocorticoids kwa hiyo hizi homoni kama ambazo zimekuwa named mineral corticoids zinahusika na regulation of mineral glucocorticoids zinahusika na regulation of glucose Then gonadocorticoids zinahusika na gonads na mo especially hapa zenyewe zinakuwa tu ni similar to the hormones produced by the gonads now hormones of the adrenal cortex are hormones secreted by adrenal cortex are steroids and are also called corticosteroids so we may connect this and uh, this name to be called as corticosteroids um corticosteroids so 
homo secreted by the adrenal gland adrenal cortex they are known as corticosteroids because they are steroid and they are they are secreted by cortex so they are grouped into three groups kati vona hapo juu kutokana na hizo layer kuna mineral uh, mineral corticoids ambao na aldosterone mfano aldosterone ni mfano tu kuna glucocorticoids mfano ni cortisol na gonadal corticoids hizi ni sexy corticoids na katika sex corticoids mfano ni androgens such as testosterone and estrogen kwa hiyo estrogen maana yake ni female vision ya nini androgen androgen ni kwa manaume estrogen ni female vision of androgen kwa hiyo uh, a specific example of androgen is testosterone now uh, najua hii raise some question kwamba inakuwaje unasema kwamba adrenal gland inatengeneza testosterone does it mean even female they have testosterone au adrenal gland zinatengeneza estrogen does it mean even men they have estrogen we shall see it later tutaona tu kwamba jinsi gani hiyo ipo in detail kwenye function of this hormone kuhusu uh, uh, aldosterone and cortisol tunazidi discuss sana hapa lakini kuhusu the function of testosterone and estrogen we will discuss them in detail when we be discussing about our reproduction just subscribe the, the channel and share the the link for this video ili uweze kupata ah uh, watu wengi zaidi ambao tutakao tunaendelea nao kwa pamoja join telegram group na kwa best zaidi ili kuweza kuendelea na discussion ya different questions kwa hiyo tunaanza kusema ni kwamba aldosterone inafanya about two major functions kwanza it increase blood level of sodium and water by stimulating the absorption of sodium chlorine and the water from the kidney tubes saliva bile and sweat kwa unaona hii hapa ina ina absorb sodium uh, na chlorine pamoja na water kutoka kwenye kidney tubes saliva bile pamoja na sweat lakini more especially ni kidney tubes na tutaenda kuona uh, kwenye osmoregulation ndio maana nakwambia kwamba hizi ni kama tu basic concept and biology na linking sana kwa most of these concept which we are discussing here we will discuss them later again kwa hiyo don't worry we will discuss them later and just stay tuned tutaenda kuona kwa undani zaidi kijinsi gani ambapo hii hapa inafanya kazi so it prevent excessive sodium loss in saliva sweat and urine and maintain osmotic concentration of body fluids kwa hii ni kama 2 point ile ile lakini ukitaka kusema kwa maneno mengine ukiona it's the difficult for you to understand you can just state in this way and the second function is that it decrease blood level for potassium by increasing its elimination in the kidney tubes saliva bile and sweat kwa ni very important to know this kwa sababu gani uh, the blood level for potassium uh, is important in in some of the very important activities of the body such as uh contraction of the heart uh nervous coordination as we know that uh, during the action potential uh, we need potassium so uh the maintenance of the potassium blood level also help the body to maintain the interstitial fluid potassium level and hence even the potassium level in the axoplasm kwa hiyo uh decrease or increase in potassium level in a very different defects in the body lakini we can discuss them here we will discuss them later in the in your next level of studies and more especially kama utakuwa interested with medicine generally aldosterone help in the maintenance of electrolyte body fluid volume osmotic pressure and blood pressure why blood pressure kwa sababu tunaposema tuna, tuna maintain sodium na water blood pressure it is affected by water tukiwa tuna more sodium in the blood hiyo sodium in absorb nani water it absorb water increase in water ina increase nini blood pressure kwa osmotic pressure ya blood inaongezeka pale ambapo volume ya water imepungua body fluid volume maana ni ni volume extracellular volume of water na extracellular volume of water inaweza ikawa ni intravascular au extravascular lakini hii nisikuchanganye ni kwamba extracellular volume ni volume ambayo iko nje ya cell 
hiyo ndio inaitwa body fluid extracellular volume ndio ninachokiangalia hapo adosterone inahusika na kuregulate extracellular extra extracellular volume lakini extracellular volume can be intra, intravascular or extravascular intravascular maana ni ile volume ya maji iliyo ndani ya blood vessel extravascular ni volume ya maji iliyo nje ya blood vessel kwa ni nje ya blood vessel na nje ya cell ni extracellular lakini pia extravascular kwa hiyo tena kuona zaidi kwenye homeostasis just stay with me lakini pia kuhusu cortisol cortisol inafanya kazi ya carbohydrate metabolism ini carbohydrate metabolism cortisol inafanya kazi kwa mekanizimu tatu kwanza ina promote gluconeogenesis yani gluco means glucose neo means new genesis means creation so gluconeogenesis means creating glucose molecules from other compounds na ndio maana inaitwa neo new isinge kwa neo ingekuwa tu glucogenesis 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 hiyo inaweza ikawa ni hata tu conversion ya glycogen kwenda kwenye glucose maana ume, umetengeneza glucose lakini umetengeneza kutoka kwenye nini kutoka kwenye glycogen ambayo sio new sio foraging material au sio uh, sio molecule ambayo ni ya property nyingine lakini nafuzungumzia uh, gluconeo it is called neo because tunatengeneza glucose kutoka kwenye protein au kutoka kwenye fat lakini pili promote liver glycogen formation promote liver glycogen formation maana yake gluconeogenesis tukishatengeneza hiyo uh, glucose tuna tunaibadilisha kwenda kwenye glycogen lakini ya tatu ina raise blood glucose level kwa sababu maana yake kama tutakao tumefanya uh, kama tutakao tumefanya gluconeogenesis na tutakao tuna tuna large amount of of glucose sorry for the substance kama tutakao tumefanya gluconeogenesis na tutakao tuna large amount of glucose in the kid, uh, i mean in the liver hiyo large amount of glucose kama nilivyo sema kule mwanzo ni kwamba haitumii kwenye liver so it is secreted uh, to the uh, to the blood circulation lakini ya pili kotso ina uh, inafanya protein metabolism how kotso maana kwenye glucose hapa ina inasababisha glucose increase kwenye blood kotso inafanya protein metabolism how ina promote breakdown of protein plasma protein maana yake probably this is because zikisha breakdown hizo protein zina zinatumika in the generation of glucose by the process of gluconeogenesis pili na inhibit cell uptake of amino acids inhibit cell uptake of amino acids how it is by first increasing the level of amino acid in the blood lakini second it increase the variability of amino acid for enzyme synthesis in the liver kwa maana kesi ni kama advantage mbili advantage mbili actually they are not mechanisms they are just like advantages of whom uh, of inhibiting the cell uptake of amino acids kwamba kwa nini na inhibit the cell uptake of amino acids lakini kutoka pale cortisol ina ina stimulate breakdown of fat pia it is involved in the maintaining cardiovascular system as your well kidney function ah uh, hizi hapa detail nyingine utakuja kusoma sasa kuja kusoma medicine lakini kwa sasa unataka tu elewe hivyo vitu vichache ambavyo vitakusaidia lakini pia cortisol reduces the number of mast cell and reduce secretion of histamine mast cell is in cell ambazo zenyewe huwa zinatengeneza histamine na histamine ni kemikali ambayo inatumika kwenye inflammatory reaction inflammatory reaction ni nini kwa mfano unapiga chafya that is one among the a uh, way of the body to resist the inflammatory reaction kwa mpaka chafya itokee maana yake kuna kama kuna ukikumbuka uki, uki, uki kwamba wakati unaopiga chafya unakutana kama kuna kuna kitu kama pua inawasha kwanza afu toka hapo ndo unaanza kupiga chafya icha asa ile 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 ya pua kuwasha ile that is inflammatory reaction ile pua kuwasha kuna kwa kuna inflammatory reaction na endelea pale ndio inayopelekea chafya itokee sasa most of the inflammatory reaction in the body they are mediated by the histamine histamine the chemical substance ni kemikali kwa sasa 
Histamine inatengenezwa na seli zinaitwa mast cell. Hasa mast cell zingekuwa nyingi mwilini. Yaani ndo kama allergy ungekuwa na allergy na kila kitu. Lakini cortisol inasaidia kupunguza namba ya mast cell. Kwa ndio maana wakati mwingine unajikuta unapita kwenye vumbi lakini haupigi chafya. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu cortisol help to reduce the number of mast cell. However, mast cell pamoja na histamine they are very important component of the immune system. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu kwa mfano ile chafu yanayopiga manake umeingiza umevuta bakteria fulani wamefika kwenye kwenye uh, respiratory system. Then sasa wale bakteria wameinduce hiyo inflammatory reaction. Ukipiga chafu wale bakteria wanawatoa unawatoa nje. You see? Kwa mast cell pamoja na histamine they are very important in the immune system kwa sababu ya kutoa nje bakteria ambao wameingia hasa kwa respiratory system na hasa kwa wale ambao wanaingia kwa kuvuta hewa lakini if the number of mast cell ikiwa kubwa manake wewe utakao na allergy na vitu vingi kwa sababu kinachosababisha wewe na allergy ni inflammatory reaction na utakana nini na histamine hiyo hiyo kwa that is the uh, the small uh, explanation few explanation about the mast cell and the histamine together with cortisol lakini pia it suppresses synthesis of antibodies by by inhibiting the production of lymphocytes in the lymph tissue. Uh, antibodies zinakuwa zinatengenezwa kwenye kwenye uh, lymphoid tissue and hapo tunakuwa na kitu tunakiita B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes zikiwa stimulated by infection zinaenda kutengeneza plasma cell. Plasma cell zinaenda kutengeneza antibodies ambazo antibodies ni chemicals zinazosaidia body kuweza ku ku fight with infection. Kwa kwenye antibodies tuna immunoglobins, we have many types of, of immunoglobins. Uh, we have immunoglobin A, immunoglobin G, immunoglobin M, immunoglobin G, uh, immunoglobin G, immunoglobin E. And these different types of immunoglobin they different properties on how they fight with infections such as bacteria and virus it is different lakini you study in detail more when you will become a, a medical personnel utakapokuwa unasoma asasa medicine kama ukiwa interested kwenye medicine i hope kwa hii coordination na biology na fundisha most of people watakuwa interested kwenye medicine medicine is good field uh, kama tutataka md tutataka dds tutataka farmers is good field but for my case i am md ko Uh, you will enjoy more you will enjoy many things lakini function nyingine it increase red blood cell count but decrease white blood cell count in the blood hiyo uh, ni moja kati ya function ya cortisol inaongeza red blood cell count na ina decrease white blood cell count in the blood uh, sijajua sana in detail why that this uh, do this cortisol and i don't know the any mechanism behind so e point i don't have more explanation on it lakini also cortisol it help you to cope with the stress and scody stress hormone kwa inasaidia mtu kuweza uh, ku cope with the stress lakini we have also androgens ambazo zinahusika na development of normal male characteristics in male fetus kwa hiyo in absence of androgens male fetus yaweza katengeneza nini normal male characteristics also stimulate development of secondary sexual characteristics So what many people knows is about the secondary sexual characteristics not about the kwa hiyo in the absence of androgens naomba uelewe hichi kitu kwamba in embryology from the first week to the sixth week yani week ya kwanza hadi ya sita male na female tunakuwa tunafanana 100% tunakuwa tutofauti yani chochote now what called the differentiation of the structures into males um yani structures in productive structures use a male it is because of the presence of the androgens now the absence of androgens inasababisha mtoto differentiate kwenda kwenye female and hii ndio hata sababu inayo account kusema kwamba hata female basi watakuwa na androgens kwa sababu wasingekuwa na androgens how could the the male fetus are uh, differentiate into male however some of the scientists wanasema kwamba it is because of the presence of the 
Y chromosome ambayo Y chromosome itokana kwa itoka kwenye kwenye sperm lakini we shall see this also later in in, in genetics lakini that's one among the concept you need to know Y chromosome inasababisha secretion ya androgens lakini pia hata female wao wenyewe pia adrenal yao inatengeneza androgens lakini pia estrogen stimulate development of secondary sexual characteristics in in female estrogen yenyewe ya usiki chote kwenye 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 fetus yani fetus yeye asipokuwa na homo ndo anakuwa female akiwa na homo inatengenezwa kwa male kwa estrogen ya usiki yote kwenye chochote kwenye fetus not uh, mineral corticoids release is stimulated by action of lenin and angiotensin kama ambavyo tunaenda ku discuss in detail kwenye homeostasis mambo ya renin angiotensin uh, kwamba mambo ya renin angiotensin aldosterone system renin angiotensin aldosterone system kwa sababu aldosterone is mineral corticoids kwa inakuwa released by by the uh, stimulation of renin and angiotensin tena kuona pia kwenye homeostasis kwamba renin anakuwa secreted na nani pamoja na angiotensin ah uh, lakini pia tuna glucocorticoids hizi zinakuwa secreted in response to adenocorticotrophic hormone adenocorticotrophic hormone kwa kumbe anakuja kugundua kwamba zote zinakuwa released by adrenocortex lakini uh, the stimulation of the release of this hormone is different now uh, let us end up here i've made the video very long hata kama sijamalizia disorders of adrenocortex i will discuss these on the next lecture disorders of adrenal cortex and then we shall discuss about the adrenal medulla don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates on the uh, advanced biology advanced chemistry physics and the mathematics thank you everybody like share and subscribe this video nice studies